I'm Scott Patrick in the Dish Studio. In this era of prestige pay TV dramas, the surprise hit of last year was This Is Us on NBC. This family drama was a huge hit with audiences and it was nominated for Best Drama Series by both the Golden Globes and the Emmys. Well, the much anticipated second season of This Is Us is now here on Tuesday nights. And our Jessica York talked to the stars of This Is Us about the success of season one and the surprises in season two. This is the biggest moment of your life. Watch me when I'm on my own. I can't fall for that person right now. I guess I'll lose the weight then. 36 years ago, you left me at the fire station. You see, I turned out pretty all right. Can I interest you in dessert? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You are no stranger to hit shows. Is this the reason why This Is Us is so big? Um, I'll tell you what, if, if when I'm 50 years old, I do another show on NBC and it has the successes that I've had every 10 years on NBC, then maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it might be me. Um, but no, th listen, this show is, is a collection of so many talented people, you know, from, uh, from Dan Fogelman and the writers to the cast to the crew. I mean, it really truly is lightning in a bottle. And when you see what the experience is on set, everyone is happy to be there. So it's uh, it's an honor. It's fun. It really seems that way. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very genuine with this with this group of people. You promise you like your gift? The towel? It's absolutely terrible. Suits on? Yes, ma'am. Your birthday suit. Only one I've got. I had to put the lingerie on top of my clothes. I see that. It wasn't a great moment for me. I love this show, and I am not alone. I think that this is kind of America's favorite show right now. Were you expecting this kind of popularity? No, none of us were. I think we were, we were acutely aware that we were a part of something that was very special, just from the pilot, because of how well written it is. But none of us had any expectation that it would become what it's sort of become, and we're very grateful for it. And yeah, just thrilled to be a part of the ride. You know, you never forecast that far ahead of what the real reaction is going to be. The only thing I could ever gauge, or any of us could ever gauge, is how we experience it. And I remember when I read the script and I saw the first episode, I just thought, we need this in the community of people right now. We need a little bit of good, actually a lot of good, and a lot of like hope, and and just things that are uh, on the more positive side versus what sometimes news in the world gives us. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it, it's like a breath of fresh air with a side of tissues, because I can't get through <laughs> an episode without crying. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you definitely, you cry. But hopefully you're laughing too. Mm -hmm. I hope you're laughing. Absolutely. Because there, there's a lot of laughter in it as well. He is looking good. You hear that, baby? We got a boy. Something's <laughs> not right. Some oxygen for her, please. So what's happening? Your wife is in distress, Jack. You know, every time I see you come on uh, TV on This Is Us, I literally have to grab tissues because I know that it's going to be a sad one. In fact, here, just in case. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you hear that a lot from people? I do, and it's weird. I didn't set out to do anything like that. It just, you know, that's the way it wound up. And again, giving credit where it's due, the writing is there. Now, you've been on a zillion of my favorite shows over the years. What makes this show special? Because I feel like there is something very special about This Is Us. It's a combination of things. Uh, great writing, great directing, and a wonderful, wonderful cast where all of the actors are really good at what they do. They take the work very seriously. They don't take themselves seriously doing it. There's not a prima donna in the whole group. And so I think that easily translates to then really good product at the end of the day. Go see your babies. They're excited to meet their father. I think maybe they got a good one. It's nice that such a pleasant experience for me to do has been so well accepted by an audience that somehow that translated all that preparation that people did actually worked and the audiences has glommed onto it the way they have. How did you guys decide? With me? There was nothing to decide the moment we saw you. You knew. It's a hell of a story, Ma. One of my favorites. And it must be 
be fun as an actor to be able to portray a character in three different decades? It is the job of a lifetime. Again, I'm very aware, like, this is as good as it gets, Mandy. Like, savor every single second. There will not be a job like this that comes around after this. So, yeah, I, as an actor, like, there's no greater challenge than taking this woman. And it's, it's so... It's never the case. I mean, on a film, you see sort of the arc of a character. It happens over the course of, you know, a couple months, a couple weeks, a couple years or whatever. But to play this woman in such distinct periods of her life, um, it's a challenge, but I, I, I love it. And you look amazing as an older woman, which Thank must you. be like, yes. <laughs> I mean, I need to learn what her like skincare secret is or something because she is aged very well. I'm guessing she like gets lots of sleep and she hydrates. Uh, she drinks a lot of water. She washes her face. That's no my, sugar. No sugar. No. Oh, no, no sugar, no alcohol. Like she seems like she's led a really clean life. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have three kids, no. No, <laughs> exactly. Look at him, back. It's right there, right next to ours. Can't you just feel it? You know, can't you just see it? The way this this story is told, it kind of flip flops back and forth, which is a fun thing for a viewer, because even if. Um... But isn't it weird how quickly the audience accepted that? Mm -hmm. That okay, we're in this decade now, and now we're back to that decade, and now we're going forward again. And they, they just go with it, and they accepted it right away. When the idea was first presented to you, did you think that it was going to be so successful? I didn't know whether it would be successful or not. I knew it would be good. Mm -hmm. And those are not necessarily the same thing. Right. And the writing is so good on this Isn't show. Isn't it? Yeah. I just, uh, it's amazing how good the writing is on this. And as I've said before, uh, as an actor on this show, all you really have to do is learn the words and stay out of your way. Uh, just let the material work, and it, it's, then you look brilliant. Not a single day that goes by that I don't think of the child I lost. At the end of last season, it looked like you guys might be doing the Big Three 2.0. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yes. Well, we'll see. And your character had the same reaction as you did. Yeah, that's right <laughs> Uh, that's an interesting I think, idea. I think we can guarantee that that's, she's probably going to be in that space. You know what I mean? I think it's a really tough thing to change a family dynamic when one person really wasn't thinking that, that what, that's what was going to happen. So she has done her, her best to really support him in honoring you know, his legacy and his ancestry and meeting his biological father and you know, patching up things with his brother and things like that. But I think this is going to ask more of her and it's a it's more difficult thing to say yes to. Your relationship seems like it's one of the more stable ones, not necessarily just on this show, but on television. Right, right. I like that. Yeah. I like that it's like, it's different because of that. You know, I like that nobody is, you know, all the things that we've sort of deemed very exciting, like people cheating on their spouses or people having these secret relationships or, being bored in a, like looking at the boredom that comes, you know, after somebody's been around for a while and making comedy of that. Um, it's nice to look at something that, that works, that's not easy, but it works. And two people that want to be in a relationship, I'm, I'm happy that we have the opportunity to, to be that. Because people need it. The response that we've gotten just shows that people were really fiending for that. And I'm, and I'm glad we get to represent that. Hi, you want to be fat friends? I can't fall for a fat person right now. I guess I'll lose the weight then. <laughs> Who are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing, uh, this is Tommy Bahama, uh -huh. and this is, uh, oh crap, I can't remember who this is. This is uh, uh, Rochester Big and Tall. Oh, there you go, there you go. And you've got um, nice work. Did you get a mani-pedi right before this? Yeah, yesterday. Nice to match the suit? Yeah, I figured I was gonna go blue, so. Let's go blue. I feel like there might be a little Toby in Chris Sullivan, is that correct? Yeah, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's surprisingly, uh, they, they go well together. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably the closest character I've ever played to my actual uh, self. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, we're both a couple of peacocks who like to dress up and throw a little color into our lives. Peacock, you're, seems like you're on the right network for that. Just a couple oh, of hey. peacocks. Just a couple of peacocks. Mm -hmm.
this show's got 11 Emmy nominations, which is awesome even just to be nominated. Yeah. What is it like coming in season two to this already well-established hit show? I mean, just like it felt coming into season one, you know, you come in with your eyes wide open, you come in ready to play with each other, you come in and just like, want to tell these great stories of, the, of this family and, and, and see how it unfolds, you know, because we're learning as you guys learn sometimes. So I'm just really excited. It really is just like playing with your friends. So I, I can't wait to see where we go with this. I really can. Same place, exact same day. Just look at him back. Place right there, right next to ours. Can't you just feel it? You know, can't you just see it? that Jack dies, but there are little like snippets that you're like, oh my God, he's gonna get, he's gonna in a drunk driving For accident. Sure. So I literally watched those scenes like with my eyes covered. But hopefully no. you don't go through life with your eyes covered. Open your eyes, experience life. That's, the, that's, that's what I kind of keep telling people now is like, don't sit around and wait for Jack's death. Just experience what the man has done in his life. You know, understand what that is, focus on that because we don't really tiptoe through our own lives. Hopefully we're willing to jump out of a plane. Hopefully we're willing to, you know, do the big moments because we're not afraid as people. That sounds like a, a speech Jack would give. <laughs> I know, yeah. it totally is. It happens all the time. I can't, I can't help myself, it happens. And uh, how does Jack die? You know, of course, right? And I'm not telling you that. Like, come on, no. <laughs> But you like your job? I do love my job, <laughs> and I like Jack, so I'm not saying anything. I still want to know. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, big question. I know you can't tell me how Jack dies. Let's talk about how he doesn't die. Like, what, what way, does. what way? Oh. Miguel murdered Jack, all right? You Miguel. Heard, you heard it here third. Oh. Miguel is a murderer, and that's why nobody likes him. And he murdered Jack to marry his beautiful wife. He's always had the hots for her. What a jerk. We can see it coming. What a murdery jerk. Mm -hmm. Now, I like the twists and turns that the setup naturally takes, and especially because when you really love a character, you don't have to say goodbye for good. Right, right. Because I guess when you think about it this way, the way this show slides through time, everybody on this show is dead. True, right? We could be dead at any minute, you know? Jump ahead 50 years, Toby's dead. Well, here, the point is, <laughs> if you learn anything from This Is Us, is that we're all dying. <laughs> and we will all be dead someday. And you can either turn that into tragedy or you can live your life and connect with the people that you love. Get on it, stop wasting time. We don't have much left. All right, so get a mani-pedi, wear some flip-flops, and enjoy life. Enjoy life. So tell us everything we need to know about season two. That's amazing. I did not, no way. Well, you heard it here first. And that's how it is. And I gave you all the spoilers. So thank now you I'm for not the exclusive. Anything else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sometimes in marriage, someone has to be the one to push to make the big moves. And oftentimes in our marriage, yes, it was your father. Our marriage wasn't perfect, it's true. But none are. And your father wasn't perfect either. But he was pretty damn close. As close as they come. He pushed a stranger on me. And that stranger became my child. And that child became my life. The second season of This Is Us, Tuesday nights, only on NBC. Now, if you missed any of your NBC favorites, we can help you out. If you're at home and your HD DVR is connected to the internet, you can see NBC On Demand. Now, if you're on the go, check out the best of NBC on your computer, tablet, or smartphone with Dish Anywhere. Our thanks to the cast of This Is Us. Don't miss this highly anticipated second season of this powerful drama. It's Tuesday nights on NBC. 
in the Dish Studio. I'm Scott Patrick.